get into it. The time has come where Coachella has officially announced their lineup. Traditionally, they always release their lineup right around this time of year, first week of January. For me, it really pulls me out of my winter blues. Nothing more exciting than popping up your phone or having your friend text you the new lineup. I'm gonna go over with you the artists that stand out to me the most, the outside events that normally take place, and tips on how to get on the guest list for free. Coachella takes place two weekends, back to back, in April. It's a great way to kick off spring. I've been going for about 15 years. Okay, so let's take a look at the lineup together. Friday, Bad Bunny and Gorillaz would be good, except I've already seen Gorillaz at Life is Beautiful, so I wouldn't go out of my way to see them again. Chemical Brothers would definitely be fun. Um, let's take a look here. Other than that, for me personally, I know that a lot of people are gonna love all of these artists, but if, if I were to just point out any other ones that would send out, Mala. Mala is gonna be a really good time. House, really good house beats. Super fun, heavy, really dancey. Highly recommend to check out Mala. Um, let's see here. Anybody else? Do, do, do. So that was Friday. Okay, nobody else for Friday. And honestly, you probably won't see me at the festival Friday. I plan on going Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. We got Blackpink, Rosalia, Eric Pritz. Honestly, I wouldn't go out of my way for any of those except for Blackpink personally and Rosalia. Uh, oh, Sophie Tucker, Chromeo will be a lot of fun. So that's basically all for Saturday for me that I see. Okay, now let's check out Sunday. I'm not a Frank Ocean fan, so everyone will be going to that. Calvin Harris, 100%. I'm gonna absolutely get an artist pass for Sunday one way or another, count me in on that. You will be able to get some backstage footage. I will be vlogging and providing that here on my channel. Porter Robinson, Fisher, Lotto, Acer Murd, I never could say that correctly, but I know he'll be a lot of fun. Sasha and Digweed. For anybody who, okay, Sasha and Digweed is our, okay, Sasha is one DJ and Digweed is another DJ. They are one of the most OG DJs you can ever come across. I discovered them when I was like 14, I'm 35, 36 now, so. You can imagine, um, I've never seen them live, and them together, they have one of the most historic EDM rave tracks of all time. So if you're at Coachella Sunday and you are a rave head, house head, whatever, go see Sasha and Digweed. You will not, you will you will thank me. I think it'd be really cool to see Bajor. I would definitely check her out, but I wouldn't like stay there too long because I like higher energy situations. And LG, LP, Gio, uh, EOB. Sorry if I'm saying any of these names wrong, but they're not the easiest. But yeah, it seems like a really cool lineup. So, what I want to talk about, um, I want to give you guys tips on how to get into outside events for free. So basically, anytime Coachella comes, comes about, about a week or two weeks before, you want to just take a look out on social media, Google, and you want to constantly be uh, searching for Coachella events that are taking place. Most of the hotels and venue spaces have something going on. And surprisingly, a lot of events are free. All you gotta do is just sign up for the guest list and you'll be able to get in most of the time for free. If not, then you can look out for different events that are uh, affordable or within your price range. Or honestly, it's a really fun time because if you go to Coachella and you don't even go to the festival, there's a lot of outside events that are taking place. Now, there are some invite only events. I do plan on going to a couple of them. One of them is Neon Carnival, another one is Revolve. There are many others. For those, it's invite only, so you have to figure out a way to get a wristband one way or another. Good luck on doing that. It is possible. Put your feelers out there is my best advice. Quickly going over my plans. So Friday night, I don't plan on going to the festival. I'm gonna go to outside events. Uh, usually they have a nylon party going on Friday night, so I do plan on going to that. Saturday, day events. I also plan on going to the festival and getting an artist pass. I'm gonna be vlogging everything. Uh, Saturday, I also plan on going to Revolve. And then at night after the festival, I plan on going to Neon Carnival. So wish me luck on getting access to all of that. And then Sunday, I plan on just going to the festival all day and enjoying, uh, just taking it all in so I'm not feeling rushed because a few years ago, I felt really rushed and I just didn't really get to enjoy all of the artists even though I had an artist pass when I went with Andre and Will. So this year, I'm just gonna keep my head focused on Sunday and get to the festival and afterwards, maybe we'll do a couple different things.
Also, watch episode two, which I'll put in a card up above, and you'll get to learn how I got to party with Paris Hilton at Coachella.